Hey everybody, it's Uncle John from Uncle John's Farms and today we're getting ready to move the goats. As you can see, we've already got the fence put up over here. We're going to move the goats from uh, their paddock that we moved in about four days ago. We're going to move them in here for the next four days. We'll also shoot some video later on about you know how we move the fence and stuff like that. It's Premier One electric fencing and uh, Funny thing is, a lot of people don't think it works in the woods, but it works just great in the woods once you get your goats trained to the fence. And what you do with that, you put them in a little 25 by 25 area, let them be there for a couple days, they're going to get shocked, but then they get used to this fence and they don't go close to it. So we're going to head over and get the goat tray to move. Should take about five minutes total because these goats are used to moving. Well, we've made our way back into the woods from the field. As you can see, the goats have been over here for about three or four days. If you take a look at the ground, they do a wonderful job cleaning up. I'm going to have Lindsay pan over to show you what it looked like before. And now we're going to get ready to move the goats. It's always good to have a bucket of treats for the goats. As you can see, they're pretty much lined up where they know that I'm going to let them out. First rule of thumb when using electric fence, Turn it off. You only make that mistake once, or in my case, twice. You hungry? Come on. Come on, kids. Come on. Okay, so we've got the goats moved. As you can tell, that's the easiest part. Usually they're ready to move because even though I left green in, in about two minutes they're going to start eating more of the forage rather than the grain. The only other thing we got to do now is move this charger. We have a solar charger. It's called IntelliShock. It's from Premier One as well. And it keeps the battery charged up. I don't ever have to worry about it. So. We'll go over and move that. I'll show you how to hook it up. Okay, so after, because we've already shut it off and we let the goats out. Now we unplug the clips from the fence. The IntelliShock, it's a really great thing because the grounding system's all in one. And then we just got to get the water trough and move it and fill it up and hook things back up. Okay, so we brought our solar IntelliShock up. In the woods, it's kind of difficult to find a sunny place. So we try to get it as best we can. The nice thing is, again, the grounding system is all together when you shove it in. It's all solar paneled so it never goes off. You take your hot lead and you just clip it to the fence. The other thing is, when you're talking about watering the goats, keeping water to them, we like to keep the water as close to the main road through the woods as we can. We've got a tank in the back of the Jeep that holds 10 to 15 gallons, a hose that we can just run out to it. Makes watering a lot easier. Nice thing is we got a water tank that holds water inside the Jeep, so no matter how bad the weather is, we can do it. Main thing with the hose, you gotta prime it to get it started. It's fairly easy, you loosen the cap on the tank, turn the hose on, it'll take it a minute, it'll start pumping through here. And once it starts coming through pretty good, you know all the air is out. Then you just move it over into the tank. Last thing we do after we move the goats before we leave is to make sure that we turn the fence on. We've already got it clipped to the fence with the hot wire. There's a little button back here you push in. If it's a green light, you're good. If it's a green and red, you're not so good. 